evening, everyone. Evening. As you can see, I am a normal girl with nothing special. Except that I have an extremely round face. <laughs> Everything about me looks like looks ordinary. But to tell the truth, I suffered from a mental illness when I was little. It was not until recently that I finally recovered from completely. When I was little, I looked like a delicate doll. Everyone loved me dearly. I was an outgoing and clean girl. My childlike and frank speech always made my aunts laugh hard to me. When I was in the second grade of elementary school, I can't wait. <laughs> I became a little bit chubby. The male classmates laughed at my figure and used many creative but hurting words to describe me as a fat girl. They gave me nicknames like pig, elephant, or dinosaur girl. <laughs> they even composed a song to describe my face and figure. To be honest, it really hurt me. Once, I saw online to read a boy's book. Actually, I like the book. At first, I was very happy because my name appeared on his blood. But later on, in the following sentences, I found he said, Shi Ai is a huge dinosaur. <laughs> At that moment, it was as if lightning and storm broke in my mind. I felt heartache and misery. Do you think that's it? No, it's not the end of the terrible experiences. The summit of the humiliation and embarrassment came during the Chinese New Year. The year when I was eight, I dressed beautifully to my grandma's house to celebrate the Chinese New Year. When I stepped into the house, every one of my relatives looked astonished and took turn telling me with a high pitch, Oh, you become so fat. <laughs> fat, fat. One of my uncles even said that I became ugly. In addition, they told my elder sister that she was so pretty and lovely. At that moment, I really wanted to leave the house to hide and prevent anyone from finding me. In the evening of that day, we had a family reunion dinner. Because I really wanted to leave, I ate so little and, and said I had had enough. However, my aunts didn't allow me to leave. They thought it was impossible that I ate so little and felt full already. As they persuaded me to eat more, I couldn't help but burst out crying. I ran out of the dining room like a living character in serial drama. From then on, I hated every single person that had ridiculed my appearance and determined to lose weight. To let all of them be surprised and feel regretful to laugh at me. Now, I come to think of it, to use losing weight to become prettier as a revenge was not a material idea, a mature idea actually. Later on, I lost weight by taking restricted amount of food. <laughs> Even after I lost weight successfully, I thought I wasn't slim enough. I always had the illusion that others were still laughing at my figure, considering I was ugly. I, it took me lots of time to recover. You may wonder what the medicine of this illness is. I would say the answers are self-reflection and forgiveness. I remember once I bought breakfast. I ordered a sandwich without mayonnaise, may I do. But the worker forgot to avoid adding it. 
When I saw my sandwich having a layer of greasy mayonnaise, I went mad, screamed angrily, and even twisted the sandwich with deep hatred. As I calmed down, I realized that I had gotten an illness, which I called it fat anxiety. Self-reflection assists me to sense that maybe I misunderstand or exaggerate others' reaction or evaluation. It helped me to think in others' shoes. It is only when I try to understand others can I try to forgive. <laughs> only when we try to forgive can we really save myself from the fat anxiety jail. Forgiveness lets us put aside those bad emotions that hurt ourselves, like hatred and anger. Now, whenever recalling the memories, I no longer had bad emotions. Instead, I think it's a special experience. I even thank for it, because it makes me deeply understand that to make ourselves fascinating and adorable is always not only about appearance, but also kind heart and wisdom. At last, I'd like to say, mental illness can never be cured by changes on the outside. Only when we try to reflect ourselves and put aside those bad emotions can we really recover from it.